In this tutorial, we will set up a brand guide and brand kit using Canva, and then we will apply that brand kit to a flyer and Instagram post template. I'm going to create a flyer and a social media graphic for this brand. And you can see I have used this simple brand guide and I've established the brand just on one page. I have two logos, I have a stacked logo, and that means the graphic and the text are stacked on top of one another. And then I have an alternative version of this logo that's horizontal. And this often works better in more narrow spaces. I've established my fonts. These are Canva fonts, uh, Lato Black, and I use, like to use all caps, and then Montserrat for my body copy. And then this is a color palette, and I have my color codes down here below. These are the hex codes that you would use for Canva or for a website. If you're doing any printing, you would want to establish what your CMYK colors are, and you could also put those here. I'm just using this on the web today, so I'm just sticking with my hex codes. So that is the one page style guide. So let's go over to Canva homepage. I have also set this style guide up in the brand kit. If you have a pro account, it's down here under brand on the left, under brand kits. And this allows me to put all of my logo files in here. Several of these have a transparent background as something you, that you definitely want to have in your logo files. I have my color palette here. I like to include white as a color in my color palette so I can just easily get to it when I'm clicking through my color palette in Canva. You can establish all kinds of font styles in here. I just have a headline and a body copy. There's some great AI tools in Canva that will do some writing for you. You can establish your brand voice here, which helps Canva know how to write about you with more personality, photos and icons. So this is my brand kit for the Farmer's Market Knox, and we are going to create first a flyer graphic. I like to start at the Canva homepage, and I like to start by format, looking for templates. So I'm going to go to the flyer template first. I'm going to search for a couple templates, and I want to encourage you to search outside the box. And that may be describing the design that you're looking for instead of the event you're looking for. I'm looking for a simple, clean, modern event template and see what comes up. I may not get a lot of great results, but we're gonna start there because this is going to give me much different results than if I had just typed in farmer's market event template. And I'll do that in a second so you can see the difference. My templates are on the left here and I'm just gonna scroll through and I am specifically looking for the picture window or frame templates. I want to think about my brand voice and the branding that I showed you a minute ago in that brand guide and which templates are going to best relay this information. By the way, I'm promoting a farmer's market with this flyer. I'm just gonna scroll through here. Okay, we're just gonna pick one. I like to pick multiple templates to start. So let's add a page and I'm gonna find another one. Okay, so again, I'm looking for picture window where a photo is featured prominently and then we have a color block. Mm, that one could work. So I have two templates that I might want to use that feature a photo. And this one is in our frame style. And then let me do another search for the opposite of what I just told you, which is I'm gonna put in farmers market event. And let's just see how different these designs are that come up. These are very much graphic based. I am not discouraging you from using graphics. If you're going to have them in your designs, use them consistently and find styles that you can stick to over time. I'm just going to add another page and let's see if we can find another design here that we like that actually features a photograph, not a graphic. That's kind of the core of the brand that I'm looking for. That one's kind of nice. I like this one, it's really simple. So we have three designs here. I'm gonna pick this top one and let me show you the power of the brand kit. It's really cool. So if I go to the design tab at the top, I have this page selected. Then I go to styles. My styles are right here that I set up in the brand kit. So Farmer's Market Knox, here's my brand font. And actually there is one missing. I should have a headline font here, but we'll get to that in a second. And then my color palette. So I can just click this color palette button and it is actually changing the font colors here and this graphic at the click of a button because I have this loaded in my brand kit. Let's go to this next one. I'm gonna click color palette and you can see the power of this. It is changing 
the graphics to fit my brand kit. And I'm just gonna keep clicking this till something is resonating. And again, I'm uh, promoting a farmer's market. Honestly, I like a lot of green. Something like this might work best. And let's go to this last one. This has a lot of white, so it may not change a lot. Some of the fonts are changing colors. Oh, the background changed here. You know, I kind of like the green text. That's pretty nice. And then you can do the same thing with fonts. Again, my headline font is not working for some reason, but it is changing all the fonts here to Montserrat. Out of the three of these, my favorite's probably this last one. So I'm gonna focus in on this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and change my headline font. My font is called Lato Black. I use it in all caps. I may want like a logo down here. This does not have a place for a logo, but I can make a place for a logo by just moving a few of my design elements. I'm gonna go to my brand and here's some of my logos. I'm gonna use the horizontal logo because it will fit better in the space down here on the bottom right. These fonts are a little thin. Like I think if I squint in my eyes at this, all I would see is the photos in summer market. You know, you might want to bump the font weight up just a little bit on this Montserrat. Do like semi bold and maybe make it a little bit bigger. Okay, I like these photos, but I will probably not want to use the photos that just come with a template. Your competitors could find this exact photo and do the exact same thing. I actually went over to unsplash.com and got a couple free photographs. So I'm just going to pop a few of those in here. Okay, I think that looks nice. We have some detail shots next to kind of a wider shot of our summer farmer's market. Another great pro feature in Canva is the resize. So I'm just gonna really quickly show you how to resize this using this feature. So resize and magic switch. I'm gonna do an Instagram post and let's see what it comes up with. But we're gonna probably simplify this design quite a bit for Instagram. Copy and resize. This is my Instagram post. Really the important information that I need to show in my Instagram post is the title, the photographs, and the date. I don't need the logo. The logo is already in my profile on Instagram, but I'm gonna make all this information bigger. If you resize this to be the actual size of an Instagram post, you could very quickly read this. So those are just some quick tips to show you how I would customize something in, in Canva customize a template for my brand, and how to use the brand kit function. Click the link in the description below for a free one-page brand guide template in Canva. Follow Cry Studio for more graphic design and Canva tutorials. Thanks so much.